So the work involved in the ORC, it's all to do with photonics, so the study of light, and not just the generation of light, but also the applications of light in a whole range of activities, such as medicine, manufacturing, telecommunications, technology. In fact, everything that's really done in the modern world is done with photonics. You may not realize it, but your mobile phone is powered by photonics and not by electronics. Um, so we study, we study everything to do with photons and light. Uh, it can be fundamental work, so that can be the generation of single photons up to very high power lasers, fiber lasers, manufactured inside this clean room, which generate thousands of watts of power coming out of an optical fiber. Everything to cover photons, even from the X-ray region right up to the infrared and even the radio waves. So it's everything to do with light, we do. Uh, we're standing in the Mountbatten building, very soon to be renamed the Zeppelin Institute. And this is a set of clean rooms, which has been set up now for probably four or five years, and are very high specification areas where work can go on in a very clean environment. Um, we also have optical labs, so typically students involved in doing their PhDs might be involved in making things inside these very clean rooms, testing them, developing them, but then taking them back to labs and characterizing them and making devices, and then coming back again and do it again. So the PhDs we run can often involve everything from making something, designing it, making it, testing it, right through to end devices that may end up in the new mobile phones, the new networks, or even new devices for medicine, healthcare, technology. Uh, motivation, um, innovation, certainly background knowledge and exam passing, of course. But some of our very best students have been those who have, of course, got good degrees, but are asking the question, how and why? And why me and what I'm doing? It's uh, probably easier to learn undergraduate degree work, you pass your exams, etc. For research, a different kind of skill. You must motivate yourself as well as motivating your own work. And it's you driving it. And so it's you making sure that what you're doing is sensible and interesting and publication worthy, of course, for, for your final thesis. But it's asking yourself, what can I do and how can I improve it? That's a real skill not everybody has. Some of our best students have been just perfect in this self-motivation.